there are several different ways to feed through the gastrostomy tube. A syringe gravity or bolus feeding uses a large syringe inserted into the feeding tube port. The feeding is placed into the syringe and flows through the tube. A feeding bag gravity system uses a feeding bag attached to the feeding tube port. The feeding is placed in the feeding bag and flows through the tube. A pump feeding uses a feeding bag attached to a pump. The rate is set to give the feeding over a set time period. The type of enteral feeding you will be getting is based on your overall health and medical condition. Care should include Always check the label and expiration date of the feeding solution. Cover, refrigerate, and label, date and time, all unused open containers or prepared feeding solutions. Hang time, how long a feeding can be in a bag or syringe, is 8 hours for feeding straight from a can, 4 hours for breast milk and self-mixed formulas, powders or liquids mixed with water. Refrigeration storage is 24 hours for mixed feeding solutions and fortified breast milk, and 48 hours for breast milk. Opened powder can be stored for up to 30 days. Warm refrigerated feedings to room temperature by holding the container under warm tap water or setting it in a bowl of warm water. Do not microwave feedings. Flush the feeding tube before and after each feeding with water. Your health team will tell you the amount of water you should use. Okay, let's get started with your first skill, giving a feeding. Gather all your supplies, a feeding syringe or a feeding bag, feeding solution. Other items you may need to include are a feeding extension set for buttons only and possibly a feeding pump. Next, position for feeding. The upper body needs to be upright in a sitting position. An infant can be held or placed in an infant seat or chair. For adults who cannot sit up, several pillows can be placed behind the back and head so that they are at a 45-degree angle. Eating solid foods or sucking is sometimes allowed during feedings. Start by washing your hands with soap and water. For gastric buttons, attach the feeding extension set. Hold the button firmly and open the safety plug or cap. Line up the black marks on the end of the extension set with the marks on the feeding cap. Insert the feeding set and turn clockwise to lock about a three-quarter turn. Check to make sure the feeding set is secure. Feeding directly through a syringe with gravity. To feed through a syringe, remove the syringe plunger and attach the syringe to the feeding port. Pour the feeding solution into the syringe. Unclamp the feeding tube and let the feeding flow through the tube. The feeding normally goes in over 15 to 20 minutes. Lifting the tube higher results in a faster flow, and lowering the tube results in a slower flow. You may have to fill the 60 milliliter syringe several times to complete the feeding. When the feeding is finished, pour water into the syringe to flush the tube. For adults, use 20 to 30 milliliters and young children, 5 to 10 milliliters. Clamp the tube and remove the syringe. Provide skin care around the tube if needed. Stay upright for 30 minutes after the feeding. For G buttons, disconnect the extension by turning the button or port counterclockwise. Remove the extension set and close the button safety cap. Wash the extension set and syringe with warm soapy water and let it air dry. Feeding with a feeding bag with gravity. Follow all the previous instructions for positioning for feeding. Attaching the extension set. Clamp the feeding bag. Add the feeding through the top opening. Unclamp and flush or prime the feeding bag so the solution flows through the tubing. Reclamp the feeding bag and attach it to the feeding set. Raise the feeding bag and open the clamps on the feeding extension set and allow the feeding to flow usually over 15 to 20 minutes. When finished, flush with water. You might pour in the water into the bag or clamp and disconnect the bag and use a syringe to flush the gastrostomy tube. Wash the feeding set and bag with warm soapy water, then rinse with tap water. Feeding bags are used for 24 hours. Feeding with a pump. Follow all the previous instructions for positioning for feeding, attaching the extension set, 
and checking for placement and function. Attach the feeding tube bag to the pump. Fill the bag with feeding solution. Turn the pump on and hold the prime button which will flush the solution through the tubing. Insert the end of the feeding bag tubing into the opening of the feeding port or extension set. Set the rate, unclamp the tubes, and press start. Tubes should be flushed with water every four to six hours during continuous feedings. Disconnect the feeding and extension set and wash the feeding and extension set with warm soapy water at least once a day and let air dry. If the feeding is given during the night or to someone who is in bed, the goal is to keep the head higher than the stomach. Elevate the head and upper body to a 30 to 45 degree angle by using several pillows or a bolster. Feeding through the jejunostomy tube. Feedings through the jejunum bypass the stomach, decreasing the risk of food backing up into the esophagus and the risk of aspiration. Because the stomach normally helps to break down food, jejunal feeding may require a special type of formula. Follow the same procedure for feeding with a pump. The feeding will go into the port labeled jejunal. You will also see a port labeled gastro. This is usually used for giving medication or venting the stomach. Venting or burping to relieve pressure in the stomach. If you or a family member feels bloated before, during, or after feeding, the feeding tube may have to be vented to relieve the stomach gas. To vent, a syringe is attached to the tube or extension set. The syringe is placed about six inches above the stomach so gas can escape. The stomach contents can also pass up and down the syringe but won't spill over. Okay. Now it's your turn to use your skill kit and practice giving a bolus feeding.